What's up guys, it's Brad from JVH Media here. Today I'm going to be talking about three simple ways to desaturate your footage in Adobe Premiere. A lot of short films uh, being made today are kind of apocalyptic and require a desaturated look to make everything look like it's kind of dead and uh, not taken care of. So uh, this is just three ways you can do that within Adobe Premiere. So yeah, let's get uh, started here. Okay, so the first way we can do this is just within a sim our simple fast color corrector tool. So we can just go over here to video effects then down to color correction and then drag the fast color corrector over onto your footage. Now I uh, did a tutorial on the fast color corrector and it's pretty basic. All you uh, all you really have to do is just take uh, the middle of this little color wheel and drag it to whatever way you want to tint the footage. Um, so if you want to warm it up you bring it up this way. Um, and for the desaturation part you just go down here to the saturation and uh, you can click on it and uh, say you want to desaturate it by half you just click 50 and uh, that desaturates it uh, by 50 percent or really you're just adding a saturation of 50 percent um, so yeah or you can uh, you can just click and drag as well you can boost it to 200 and make it really saturated or you can bring it down to zero and take all the saturation out of the footage which takes literally all the effect of the uh, tint if you did that earlier away okay so that's the first way you can uh, desaturate your footage um, the second way you can do it is through the tint tool. So to do that, you would just go to video effects, color correction, and then tint. And uh, it, it uh, pretty much when you when you drag it over on top of the footage, it makes everything black and white. All you do for this is you just uh, have this little tool right here, and you just drag this little bar over however much you want to tint black and white. So uh, if you want to tint everything black and white, you move it over to 100. Um, you would really only use this uh, tint color corrector if uh, that was the only effect you wanted to add. Like you, if you just wanted to make everything black and white, then you would add the tint color corrector. There's there's really no point in adding a, a primary color correction tool and a uh, tint color correcting tool because as I just uh, showed you, the fast color corrector has a saturation tool within it and I believe the uh, three-way color corrector does as well. That said, you can uh, do it this way. You can drag on a fast color corrector and uh, work with that separately and then have the tint by itself it's uh it's all up to you the third way we can desaturate the footage is uh, a little little more interesting what we're going to do is we're going to uh, desaturate only one color in the footage say you have a little bit too much green in your shot and you want to take out just those green colors instead of desaturating the entire shot what you can do is you can take your first layer of footage go to video effects, go to keying, and then add an ultra key to that. And what you're going to do is you're going to go down to the uh, key color tool. You're going to click on the key color and you're going to choose a green spot in your footage because that's what we want to desaturate. We want to only desaturate the green colors. Um, and you can do this for any color, but uh, um, for this particular shot, we're going to choose green. Um, so we're going to click on that. And as you can see, it kind of creates a mask in which the uh, footage is taken out. So now that we've keyed out our uh, greens in the footage, what we're going to do is we're going to take another copy of the exact footage and put it underneath our original footage that we've just keyed out. And now um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to color correction and add our tint, which is going to desaturate all the colors in the bottom layer of footage. If I view only the bottom layer of footage, everything is desaturated. But if we look at the top and the bottom layer together, we can see that only the greens are actually desaturated in the shot. Um, so yeah, and uh, what, you, what, you, what you can do now is you can go to the tint setting on the bottom layer of footage and you can uh, control just the greens and how much you want to sat desaturate or saturate them. Um, so if you want to have them completely desaturated, boost it up to 100. If you want to just take a little bit of the greens out, leave it at uh, 50 or 60. Um, and yeah, it's really up to you uh, from there. So yeah, those are just uh, three ways to desaturate your footage for an apocalyptic look in your film uh, inside of Adobe Premiere. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. The JBS Media Facebook page is in the description below. If you want to like it there to get the latest updates, feel free to do so. And uh, yeah, be sure to like the video if you thought it was helpful. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next time.